There are two three-letter words ending in X in the English language that get people really excited. <laughs> I'm going to talk about one of them. Because I've been a parent for ten years tomorrow and I've forgotten that. No, that's not true. <laughs> Just being a dad. Tax and banks. I come from West Norfolk. We think banking is putting money in the chicken coop. But round here you think it's something different. Banks don't pay enough tax. It's a very simple idea, but it's true. Banks can pay four taxes, in theory. Corporation tax. The only tax that is being cut at present by this government is corporation tax. And just before the budget, the Oxford Centre for Business Taxation, it, uh, from Oxford, unsurprisingly, from which I am banned um, for being irreverent, um, announced that large companies in the UK paid tax at lower levels than small companies, and banks pay one of the lowest of all. Because banks made 50 billion of losses in the recession, which we of course paid for, they have now got 19 billion of tax credits waiting on their balance sheets to offset against their future tax bills, which means they won't be paying any tax for a very long time. So corporation tax, zilch, forget it. VAT, all financial services are exempt from VAT. So how much VAT do they pay? Zilch. Forget it. Stamp duty, Dave just mentioned. But hang on a minute. Stamp duty only applies to people who actually buy shares. Banks deal in shares. Oh, totally different. So how much stamp duty do banks pay on their dealing? Zilch. Forget it. And who has the lowest overall personal rate of income tax in the UK, well of course the top 0.1% of income earners because they pay no uh, national insurance on that, well okay 2% now, but compared to most of us 12% they pay very little and of course they offset vast amounts of contributions to their personal charities and other such things to make sure their self aggrandizement is financed by us and therefore how much tax do they pay? Less than you do. So bankers and banks pay less tax than the rest of us. Therefore, why do we want a financial transaction tax or something like it? Because, as the European Union say, and they very helpfully sent me at the weekend a crib cheek just to prepare me to come to Fit Club, and it says, one of the reasons for having a financial transaction tax would be to ensure that the financial services sector makes a fair and substantial contribution to public finances. Pretty tacit admission that they're not right now. Now, they've made the case for financial transaction taxes, so I'm going to make the case for two other things, just in case you want to diversify a little bit, because I get very excited about other taxes as well as just that one. I get really excited by tax. My wife's a doctor. She says I'm going to die from excitement by taxation one day. <laughs> it's a terminal complaint, and I'm the only person who's got it. Losses. We abolish the carry forward of losses for banks. So they cannot offset these credits against their future tax liabilities. Why do we not let them carry them forward when everybody else can? Because we've already paid for them once, and therefore we don't have to pay for them twice. It's a very simple logic. The bankers don't get it, which must mean the logic is right. <laughs> Secondly, bonuses. We had a tax on bonuses. It didn't work very well because it lasted for three months. That's not a very good basis for taxing. It makes it very easy to avoid it. So we introduce a better tax on bonuses. Um, it's rather interesting that in here they have a particular name for that tax. It's called a fact. The word cat seems to go with it very nicely. But that is a financial activity tax. And you apply it to the pay of bankers. And of course, you also have a tax on financial transactions, which is called the Robin Hood tax. And that therefore picks up stamp duty, because we suddenly apply it to their trading as well as everything else. And finally, why don't we charge them to VAT? Why is everything else subject to VAT, but not, well not quite everything else, no, books aren't, thank goodness, but, and words aren't, thank goodness, else I'll be in big trouble, but what about banker services, because it doesn't carry VAT, they're actually subsidised in the marketplace, so they actually sell too many banking services in proportion to other things. It follows very logically from their favourite economic analysis. So if we applied a VAT or a financial transaction tax, and they might be complementary in this case, we would stop the subsidy to bankers, because right now what the tax system does 
is subsidise banks. It gives them a free run for their money. They aren't paying their fair share. We're not trying to impose a penalty on them when we ask for a financial transaction tax. We're actually just saying, please pay your tax. And I'm going to come in 45 seconds early because that's about as far as I'm going to go. Thank you. Thank you.